Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a program in Build Your Own Blocks that allows you to draw um, a shape of any size and of any number of sides that you specify. Um, so to start with, um, I'm going to set up the um, sprite and I'd like the sprite to be a, um, a pencil. So I'm going to go into, just click the new sprite that was the, um, from a folder my file and then I'm going to choose things and hopefully fingers crossed there's a pencil in here if not if I'll just use something that's slightly pointy but yeah there's a pencil down there it says it's got a script in already but that's okay let's have a look um, and now I'm just going to delete that script so drag it out and then I will delete the old sprite delete so now um, we probably need to show that as well so if I go under look and show. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe if I go to the middle as well. Go to naught, naught. There it is. Brilliant. So I've now got a sprite and it's called Drawing Pen. I'm just going to rename that just to Pen. So it's bang in the middle. It's called Pen. And, and then finally, I'm just going to go to edit the costume and I'm going to set the centre of the costume to be the centre of the pen, uh, to be the tip of the pen, which has been done, which is good, so that otherwise it would be drawing from there and not there. Right, so now I've set up my sprite, I'm ready to start the drawing. Um, to start with I'm going to write a couple of scripts, one to draw a, um, a square and another one to draw a triangle and then maybe a third one to draw a pentagon a pentagon and then from looking at these I'll be able to generalize a, um, a single algorithm that can do any kind of shape you want so to start with I'm going to make it draw a square so when the I'm going to say when the space bar is clicked I'm going to want it to go move 10 steps and then turn 90 degrees um, and I'm going to need it to do that four times. I'm going to click these out, duplicate them. So each time it's going forward turning 90 degrees, forward turning 90 degrees, forward turning 90 degrees, forward turning 90 degrees. Click OK. Let's have a look. What happens when I click space? Ah, nothing seems to have happened. Um, maybe it's because I need to place the pen down on the page first and then pen up at the end. So the pen is the whether the sprite will draw something when it moves around. Click play now, and click space, and it's drawn a little square, um, which is good. Um, you might think that it takes me quite a long time to change all these if I'd like it to be, say, 75, so to change the size of it. Um, and also, it's this algorithm contains repeated um, instructions which is never good because it means that the program will be bigger than it needs to be and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete a whole mess of these instructions those four and I'm going to just use the repeat loop this actually makes my algorithms quicker to do so quicker to make so I'm going to repeat that four delete those and place the pen up at the end and that should do exactly the same thing this time I'm going to I don't know make it 30 so when I click the space bar, it draws us shapes us 30. You'll see that the old shapes stay there. And you might want to get rid of that at the start. So um, maybe I'll have a when the I don't know, up arrow is clicked, pen clear. And that will delete everything that's on the screen. So I now click the up arrow, and there's nothing there. I click the space, and it draws a square. Super. Um, what I'd like you to do now is to pause the video and to try and change this algorithm so that it now draws a triangle. And I'll give you a moment to do that. Okay, so hopefully you've started the um, video again. I'm just going to go through how to change this so that it draws a triangle. 
to start with, you need to work out how many time how many times it's repeated. Now, this gets repeated for every time it draws a side, as in move 30 steps, turn 90 degrees. And as this has got four sides, this is repeated four. So I'm going to change that to repeat three. Um, and then also you need to change the amount that it turns. And you'll find that this is to do with the external angle. It's the angle between the direction that it's currently facing and where it turns to. And you'll find that when you make a... Um, triangle it actually turns 120 degrees and the reason for that is that it turns 120 degrees three times and so three lots of 120 is 360 whereas in this one here it turns 90 degrees four times and four lots of 90 is 360 in a sense the direction goes around in a full circle to 360 and I might want to change this to the down arrow so that it's not when I click the space it's when I click the down so I'll try it again. I'll first I'll clear with the up arrow and then I'll press the down arrow and it's drawn a triangle. Super. If you wanted to stop now and do a little exercise, it would be a good exercise would be to look at how to convert this again so that instead of drawing a square or a triangle, you were drawing a pentagon which has got five sides. So pause the, pause the video. Um, wait a moment, have a try, and then we'll go over it in the next section. Okay, so hopefully you're back now, um, and we're going to make, um, going to create a script that draws a pentagon. Um, and you'll note that it's going to be pretty much the same process as we did last time, just changing the size of the screen here. Um, and instead of repeating three times, this time it's going to repeat five times because it's got five sides. And instead of returning 120 degrees, it needs to turn 360 divided by 5 degrees. Because it's got 5 sides and the direction goes round 360 degrees, it's 360 divided by 5, and 360 divided by 5 is 72. And I need to choose a different arrow to select it. So now I've got the right arrow, I'll click up to clear the screen. And I'm probably going to make this one a little bit bigger, go for 40. Um, and I click the right arrow, and it's drawn a pentagon. So this is the end of the first part of the tutorial. Um, you've learned, first of all, how to use the pen down and pen up to make a sprite draw in the background. Um, you've learned how to use the clear command to delete everything that's on the screen. You've learned how to draw a polygon um, i.e. a shape with either four sides, three sides or five sides. In the next tutorial um, we're going to look at how to generalize all of these solutions as in how to create a single algorithm that will draw a shape of any number of sides and any size. Thanks for watching.